Today I want to show you something super exciting. Look at this. This is a new user interface for AutoGPT. AutoGPT is a, a self-prompting system for GPT-4, but I found this today when I was on Twitter and I saw this uh, for Agent GPT, which was an attempt at creating a nice browser interface for AutoGPT. And if you wonder why that might be needed, AutoGPT usually looks like this when you're running it. So that's a typical run. In this case, I had an agent looking for a flight, an efficient, fast flight from one place to another. And the thing is that uh, instead of looking like this, now you can look like this. Now this version here is running on their servers. It's wonderful if you want to just get a feel for this, but you will be limited in some of your capabilities. They're actually letting you use their OpenAI key here unless you click on settings and put in your own key. And if you have access to GPT-4, then AutoGPT will have access to GPT-4, and that's super cool. I do happen to have that. So I went to their GitHub repository uh, here at Reworked Agent GPT, and I forked it. And then I have downloaded that fork, and then I have followed their instructions to create a Docker container that that runs AutoGPT within it that I can then access on my own computer. That way when I put my credentials in, it's all staying local and I'm using the OpenAI GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 APIs, which keeps my personal data also private, which is very nice. When you're running it, what you'll be greeted with is this. And so let's give this a try and let's try to get this agent to help us find a Frisbee golf course uh, near Louisville, Kentucky. Frisbee golf finder oops not gold frisbee golf finder and find me the best and highest rated frisbee golf golf gold on my mind golf 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 courses in or near louisville kentucky all right so that's the agent's goal it has a name we're going to deploy it so now you can see this is really nice. It looks good. Uh, the the everything's good. If we want to copy any something, and we've got these little things here, we can do. We can take a picture. We can save the output. But you can see what it's doing here is it's attempting to search the internet. Right? It says retrieve a list within a 25 mile radius of Louisville from a trusted database. And so it has gone and has searched the internet, and it has come back with this lovely list right here of and this is correct i'm familiar with these and let's see what else it thinks it needs to do to finish this job oh it's checking on the highest ratings so it's saying of this list right here the ones that are considered the best are the highest rated which are charlie vetner severin lang and otter creek awesome and it'll keep going. The task is basically done at this point. Uh, but what it's going to do next is this is, oh, okay, sorry, I didn't tell you exactly where they were. So it's gone and it's giving us an actual score for each one and it's giving us an address. That's going to be really helpful later if I want to find this and go there and play. And what else, what else? It looks like we're about done here. And <laughs> you can see here that because this is in fact a demo and it is not in fact using so we're going to go into our run long runs. Oh, you've got to put in your own API key, which I didn't do yet. So thank you to the makers of Agent GPT for letting us run this demo. Really, really appreciate it. And after this, I'll put in my own API key and I'll have a lot more fun, I suspect. But this is an amazing way to try out some of this new auto GP technology, auto GPT, gosh. This is an amazing new way to try out auto GPT in the browser doesn't cost you much and if you want to or need to as I do you can very very easily follow the instructions and load it right up on your own computer all right have a lot of fun trying this out I mean this is just amazing amazing stuff uh, and this is just the beginning there's so much more coming we'll talk more about that in future episodes please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to know when I post those future episodes, hit that little bell button. That helps me a ton. Thanks so much.